Coming up on Inside California Education, Community Colleges. Visit a brand new airport terminal under construction at LAX. It's being built by graduates of a unique community college program called Higher LAX. Meet students in the Firefighting Academy at Lake Tahoe Community College who are changing the face of the fire service. See how biotechnology companies are partnering with Miramar College to train workers in San Diego, one of the largest biotech hubs in the nation. And discover what high paying, high demand careers are being taught at the farm of the future in the Central Valley town of Colinga. It's all next on Inside California Education, Community Colleges. Inside California Education, Community Colleges is made possible by College Futures Foundation believes nothing is more transformative for individuals and our society than an educational opportunity. We partner with organizations and leaders across California to help students earn college degrees, regardless of zip code, skin color, or income. More information at collegefutures.org. so proud to work here because everybody knows about LAX. A lot of people, when they fly into LA, this is like the first thing that they see is the LAX. I of course know what LAX is. It's iconic, it's our airport here, and I definitely knew that I wanted to work here. Ariana Perez is a former stay-at-home mom who's now laying cable in a new terminal being built at LAX. Wilbur Gonzalez was a dishwasher earning low wages but after less than a year on this job, he bought his mom a house. And Marquise McNeil is a Chico State graduate, paid off his student loans by becoming a carpenter. All three are graduates of Higher LAX, a collaboration between Los Angeles Southwest College, Los Angeles World Airports, and the airport's construction partner, Parsons. When we were deciding how to build this program. The community college district was an obvious choice. Not only does Southwest College have this beautiful campus here, but it's right under the flight path of the airplanes approaching LAX. And it was really important to us at LAX and Parsons that we have a local program nearby the LAX impact area. And we wanted to put people from the LAX community to work. LAX, the airport, is really the key to the entire program. Without the employer, we're all just uh, training programs like every other training program out there. With the employer, it is a complete program that can help people not only uh, train and be prepared, but actually take that final step in securing employment and starting their career. Five days a week for eight straight weeks, students in the higher LAX program get a crash course in construction. They learn how to use hand tools, calculate measurements, and tolerate long work days outside. But that's not all. So he's mixing it, he's gonna put it in there. Okay, no problem. We prepare students also by giving them a lot of physical uh, workouts. We have them do about three miles every day of, uh, out in the track. We have them climb stairs and do core workouts and upper body strength workouts. And then we take them to uh, field trips. So they actually get to meet workers in the industry. Yeah, we're good. They get to visit the local unions and talk to the representatives, see where the training takes place. I feel like I'm really prepared. They really prepare me for something. They really give me a lot of inside information that I didn't know. And I feel like I'm more prepared than uh, the next person going in. I'm more focused, uh, more determined, motivated, and more disciplined. Helena Sheraton spent a decade working in production and warehousing. But she says those felt like jobs, whereas this feels like a career. Yeah, we're good. I would say within the next five years or so, I should be clearing about $100,000 a year. That means I can take care of my family. Really? I mean, just my future is set. The, the possibilities are endless. This is adult learning at its best. Most students who join this program have never been to college. And when they register and, it's, and they're told, you are now, for the first time, 
and more like more than likely the first person in your family to ever register for a college program it's huge because at the end of this program they know this is college level work it leads to employment lifelong skills not a short-term job but lifelong skills that will allow the person to prosper for a lifetime the higher LAX program is completely free for students, but it's also highly competitive. About 300 people attend each orientation, but only about 35 are selected. We've been focusing a lot on um, people of color, uh, African American, Latinx, um, formerly incarcerated, foster youth, um, people who are underrepresented, people who have been overlooked. We've been very strategic on who we're looking for um, to make sure that we're representing our community's needs and our zip code area. Because so many students come from disadvantaged backgrounds, the program has counselors to help with issues like housing. And once a week, students have a group therapy session of sorts, led by an organization called Second Call. It helps students work through anger, abuse, and trauma they may have experienced. Is there any one thing that you could say stood out to you uh, the whole eight weeks of Second Call Life Skills? Forgiveness is the biggest one. I have my letter of forgiveness, and I actually feel a lot better. It really approaches the student as a whole person, and it focuses on every possible wraparound service you could imagine to make sure that the student gets in and out successfully in that eight weeks and then goes on to be successful and not carry anything that they were carrying before with them. The whole person approach has helped the program reach a 70% success rate, with many of the graduates headed to work on multi-billion dollar construction projects at LAX. This program is not just about giving back. This program is market driven right now because there's a construction boom going on in Los Angeles and LAX is at the forefront of that, modernizing their airport, whether it be the land access modernization program, which will change the way we get into the airport with the automated people mover and several stations along the way, or all of the airlines putting in a lot of investment in the terminal improvement. And, and, and then aside from that, LAX itself building brand new terminals. One of those terminals is the new Midfield Satellite Concourse North, which will soon handle domestic and international flights. It's also where higher LAX graduate Ariana hopes her career takes off. The Higher LAX program was really life-changing for me. Um, not only did it teach me about um, construction, the field that I wanted to go into, but it also gave me the confidence in myself because now I feel like I can definitely do whatever it is that I want and it's achievable for me. Did you know the California Community College System is the largest provider of workforce training in the nation? Students with a degree or certificate from a community college nearly double their earnings within three years. This academy specifically, it's a lot of physical work, but even more so mental. So if your mental game is, is strong and you're focused on the goals, you might struggle through it, but you're gonna make it no matter what. Heidi Strahl joined the Fire Academy at Lake Tahoe Community College because it was only two days a week, allowing her to keep her job while she was in school. Financially, I needed to go to a community college program. I chose it a lot for the schedule and for the finances, not really knowing the, the family that I would accrue upon being in this program. Heidi is now employed by the nearby Truckee Fire Department, and that's exactly why this academy was created, to fill the ranks of local fire agencies around Lake Tahoe. Many years ago when we started the academy, the chiefs in the area said, we don't want to have to send our, our kids off the hill to go get, to, we don't want them trained in Sacramento, we don't, we don't want them trained in Santa Rosa, we want to train them right here, so that's why we created the fire academy. Here in the Tahoe Basin, I hate to say it, but we basically live in a tinderbox, right? We live in, um, surrounded and immersed in nature, which is many of the reasons why we love to live here. But with that, the, the wildfire threat is very real. And so having a fire academy in Lake Tahoe makes a lot of sense because it's responding to our local concerns, our local needs. Can you go, are you comfortable going aloft? We can do a number one. Yes. The Academy has been funneling firefighters to local Tahoe agencies since it was established in 2006. 
And now it's diversifying those agencies as well. The community college says it's making an intentional effort to recruit more women and people of color. We have the most diverse student body in all of higher education in California. That is a plus for employers like fire departments who are looking to diversify their own workforce. Here in the Tahoe area, we have a huge Hispanic population. So during a medical emergency, if you can speak Spanish to somebody and look them in the eye and put them at ease, that's huge. I mean, that's going to be a marketable skill. So that kind of diversity is, is amazing for us. Eric Mejia hopes being bilingual will help him land a firefighting job. We didn't do body check. Mm -hmm. So a native of El Salvador, he's been learning English while attending the academy. I'm not a really good uh, English speaker or some, but I, I'll be. You know, I'll be there. You know, I'll, I'm gonna learn all all those words that I that I'm that I'm gonna need. But um, I will say the best advantage that I have is that I speak Spanish and that I never give up. Despite the language barrier, Eric never gave up, and he graduated alongside fellow cadets at a ceremony steeped in tradition for the fire service. We're really proud of that ceremony. It's, you know, it's about the cadets. It's not about the administrators, it's not about the fire chiefs, it's about the cadets and their journey throughout the last nine months. You could say it was kind of a childhood dream in a way. You're going to grab the first bundle that attaches to the gateway. Okay. Um, it wasn't something that I really decided to pursue until I found out I was actually having a child of my own. Um, and I've always been interested in any sort of public service. And the fire service just really appealed to me. As California faces a future with more frequent and more deadly wildfires, leaders say it's crucial to prepare the next generation of firefighters. A workforce that's not only diverse, but fully prepared for the challenges ahead. It's a lesson learned when the Academy's very first class graduated in 2007, just one day before the Angora fire. June 24th was the Angora fire, the largest fire we've ever had here in the basin. And they were on it, you know, they were ready, they were prepared. And that, that was the message that we received. We need to be prepared. We need to have these kids ready to go. For us, we have just a couple ways in, a couple different highways, two lane mostly. Um, so it's essential that, you know, early alert, catching uh, those fires uh, early and then also coordination uh, with our community that if we ever had a mass evacuation um, that we're prepared for that. This is not a simple job. This is a lifelong career. This is a lifestyle. This is a family, but this is also something where you need to pay attention to safety because it's your life. For Heidi, she says the Fire Academy was the best thing she ever did in her life and she continues to pass that message along to brand new recruits. My advice would be just to never give up. Um, I, I said that to this oncoming group that's, that's gonna start here in a couple of weeks. Don't ever quit on yourself and don't ever quit on your team and you'll make it through. Still ahead on Inside California Education, Community Colleges. See how the farm of the future is helping reduce poverty in the Central Valley by helping ag students get high paying jobs that use technology to improve how food is grown and harvested. But first, a Southern California program designed to meet a very specific workforce need in biotechnology, benefiting both students and the industry. Slides. In this classroom at San Diego Miramar College, students are more likely to examine DNA than listen to a lecture. They spend more time with a microscope than they do a textbook. And in a year and a half, they'll be fully trained to meet a growing demand in biotechnology, an industry that has more jobs available than people to fill them. The biotech industry has about 2,000 open positions every year in this area. So students that have gone through our program and have those skill sets, they get hired really quickly into the industry. From vaccines to crops to medicine, biotechnology is used to create many new products. San Diego happens to be one of the largest biotech hubs in the nation. 
and this program is meeting a crucial need by providing hands-on training. At Miramar College, students spend more than 300 hours in the lab before receiving a Certificate of Achievement in Applied Biotechnology. These microscopes should already be more or less focused. We're at Aviva Systems Biology and I'm a Lab Technician 1. Elsa Rubel began as an intern at Aviva Systems Biology during her second semester of Miramar's certification program. One of the first things we learned in the classroom was pipetting and how to be accurate and precise, and that's something that we use here every day. A few months later, she was offered a permanent job working with antibodies for research. She works here during the day while completing her final semester at Miramar in the evening. It allowed me the opportunity to do something fast, not something that was going to take two years. I wanted to start working now. And not only that, it gave me the flexibility of going to school at night when I had to be at home with the kids. Joseph Wong, Aviva Systems Director of Operations, says biotech is a constantly evolving industry. And part of what makes Miramar's program so successful is their ability to stay current. Miramar works actually with industry. Uh, they're working with companies like us, with other companies in the area, and say, hey, what do you guys need? Um, you know, before they were just focusing on lab techniques, now they're focusing on areas like quality. And the reason for that is because we want to ensure that we're designing a program that's meeting industry's needs, that we're providing the skill sets that they're looking for. And with the change in uh, technology, the change in what our employers are looking for, those changes are so rapid that we have to work with industry. Eloy Ortiz Oakley is the chancellor of California's community college system. He says these kinds of partnerships benefit everyone involved, the students, the college, and the employer. It's good for them to keep the cost down for recruiting and retaining employees, and it's good for the college and the students because those students may not have been able to access that kind of employment but for that relationship. Instructors say this is a perfect program for just about anyone who wants a new career in a booming industry quickly. We have taken people from all kinds of previous careers, truck drivers, carpenters, stay-at-home moms, um, secretaries, whatever, anybody who likes to work with their hands and their mind at the same time, I think it's a perfect career. Yeah, you're right, it's not splitting. Yeah. Instead of just hearing about it, it really shows you what you could potentially be doing. And for me, I didn't really know if this would be an interest for me, but after graduating, I knew that definitely working in a lab could be a potential job. They get to work with their hands on a daily basis. They get to work in really neat labs on things that make a difference in everyone's lives. Uh, and so it's a really rewarding career. Uh, it's a hands-on career, uh, and it's, it pays really well. <laughs> Employers say it's an industry that's only going to keep growing, changing the lives of those who work in biotechnology and those who benefit from it. It's done a lot for you know, making people live longer, it's helping people kind of adapt to a, a changing world and climate. So I think it's, it's definitely, you know, a major part of our lives. As for Elsa Rubel, she says it's a major part of her life now, too. I was a stay-at-home mom just a year ago, literally just a year ago. And I'm in a matter of six, seven months, I feel like my life has changed in a good way, the best way. Biotechnology uses living organisms to create products often found in medicine, food production, and agriculture. More than two dozen California community colleges offer degrees and certificates in biotechnology, including regional centers in Southern California and the Bay Area, bridging the gap between education and job training. If you don't like where you're at, you gotta make the change yourself. Ken Brown is making a change in his life and his career. A trucker for 25 years, now the 51-year-old Modesto resident drives two and a half hours south through the Central Valley every week. His destination? Colinga's West Hills Community College and a unique program called Farm of the Future. My goal is to have everyone 
proficient at at least three machines. Tim Martz is training Ken and these other students to become heavy equipment operators. It's one of more than a half dozen high paying, high demand career opportunities being taught at the farm. The need here is great. Um, you can look at, at the want ads or go into any of the websites and there are openings all over the place for heavy equipment operators. The last time I taught this class, there was one company said they would take all of the students that passed. Six of America's top 10 agricultural counties are in California's Central Valley. Fresno County alone raises more than 400 different crops on nearly 2 million acres of farmland. Even though agriculture here is a $5.5 billion industry, generally low farm worker wages also means that more than 20% of Fresno County residents live below the poverty line. Most of our families earn about 24000 a year for the whole family. West Hills Chancellor Linda Thomas is part of a team of educators and administrators who are helping grow Farm of the Future. The focus, precision agriculture, training people to use technology to improve how food and fiber is planted, irrigated, and harvested. The farm these days is not learning how to pick crops. The farm is learning how to program driverless vehicles and you know drones and all that cool stuff. It's really math, science, technology. It's hard to find an industry that is more productive and more efficient and with a greater use of technology to gain all of those qualities, and we wanted to be in the middle of that. The farm sits on more than 200 acres just south of the main West Hills Colinga campus. The community college districts invested more than $25 million in this academic program, including state and federal grants and donations. Associate's degrees or certificate programs set students on a variety of career paths. Vocational aide Francisco Soto, himself a graduate, is helping these students train for commercial truck licenses. Practice includes navigating an on-site obstacle course. Just these few steps right here, you're, you're going to be successful in life, make good money, you know, provide for your family. Well, I would tell them that to come out here to the ag farm and start a career out here because it's very helpful and you'll make money the, the, the fastest way. So again, my name's Terry Brazzi and I got told that a lot of you are interested in agriculture as a career. Okay. Terry Brasse is even spreading the word to local high school students. One of the nation's leading academic experts on precision agriculture, Terry came out of retirement to become the Farm of the Future's director. I think agriculture is an exciting, challenging career, but it's also got high demand jobs and good, high paying jobs. <laughs> high paying jobs like drone operators who are in high demand to map and analyze the soil and water needs of acres of farmland, welding classes, heating and air conditioning experts who may be called upon to repair systems inside massive warehouses, even irrigation experts who not only will build vast watering systems but make sure they can be operated wirelessly via the internet. It's all designed to keep people from leaving this rural region by giving them new skills. We have a very focused set of curriculum and courses uh, to help them learn that technology. It's not the fact that we have less people, it's that we need a higher educated workforce. And a lot of that is going to have to be local. Farmers are the original innovators. The next generation workers that we need out of the San Joaquin Valley are really ones that understand that there are far more complex technology needs in ag today than there ever have been. Not very many community colleges have uh, a production farm that also serves as a learning laboratory for students. So it's not just theoretical or somebody showing you, they actually get to get their hands on the equipment, their hands on the crops, their hands on the soil, and actually learn by doing. Right now we're planting broccoli and it's, it's amazing. Right here it's really, it's a hands-on course. So you're not just taught about it, you're taught about it, you're showed how to do it, and you're put into these practical applications in real life situations where you actually do what you're taught and it just sticks so much better. For some, the West Hills Farm of the Future offers students the chance to transition into a new and better career well into their adult years. For others, it's a chance to discover ag careers they may have once thought were unobtainable 
at a very affordable two-year college. Trade schools are very expensive, and this is such an inexpensive course that you save thousands of dollars. This does give me a lot of optimism about my future. This is very affordable, it's really hands-on, and they cater to each student. And if you try and put your hand out, they will take you by the hand and they will show you exactly what you need to do. We are the promise keepers. We promise economic, social, and civic mobility for anybody that walks in our door. We will meet you where you're at and get to you where you want to go. That's it for this edition of Inside California Education Community Colleges. If you'd like more information about the program, log on to our website, insidecaled.org. You can watch stories from all of our shows, and you can connect with us on social media. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Inside California Education. in agriculture as a career. Inside California Education, Community Colleges is made possible by College Futures Foundation believes nothing is more transformative for individuals and our society than an educational opportunity. We partner with organizations and leaders across California to help students earn college degrees, regardless of zip code, skin color, or income. More information at collegefutures.org.